You only live once, so why live, always waiting for the future? Well, it was then that I finally decided to start enjoying the present. My second year at Reynolds, which was this past year, I hit the ground running, taking advantage of everything Reynolds had to offer. In fact, instead of only going to school for class, I began only going home to sleep. I joined Phi Theta Kappa, JSR Lee, became a member of the Reynolds Student Senate, and finally started taking full advantage of the college experience. And wow, did that make all the difference. This commitment marks the very first graduating class of one of our academies. The students are high school students at J.R. Tucker High School and today are participating in commencement to receive their associate science degree. I would like for the advanced college graduate students to please stand. The success at Penn State was not limited to the gridiron. He also earned a Bachelor of Arts in Advertising and Public Relations in three short years, leading him to be named Academic All Big Ten for three consecutive years. And in 2005, he added a second Bachelor's in Journalism to his resume. Michael's ultimate dream came true in 2006 when he was drafted by the San Francisco 49ers. After four years with the 49ers, Michael joined the Seattle Seahawks. Wow. It's, uh, first of all, I want to thank uh, Dr. Rose, the uh, board, the faculty members, um, all the people that made it possible for me to be able to be in front of you today. There are two guarantees that guide my life. Death and adversity. So be respectful of people's time and learn how to respond and deal with adversity. Because again, it's guaranteed it's gonna happen. When I got cut from Seattle and I got on television, I had an opportunity to bash Pete Carroll. He cut me, what? For some other cat. I had an opportunity to talk bad about that team. And when I got back, I remember standing in front of him, and he said, you could have messed this up. You talk about a Super Bowl champion winning head coach at the highest level of competition, and he's worried if I was going to say something negative about his organization. Don't burn bridges. In Excel and Excellence, we have five principal rules, guys. Number one, be early. Be early. Number two, no excuses. No excuses. Because see, your employer sometimes won't care that you woke up on the wrong side of the pillow. <laughs> they don't care. They, they're worried about their bottom line. No excuses. Number three, protect the team. Your personal brand, your family name, whatever organization, wherever you're a part of, every decision you make, protect that team. Number four, be confident. First impressions are everything. And number five, serve others. You know, just looking at today's graduation, for instance, as you see the graduates come across the stage, you know, you hear the families, you know, big outbursts over here, big outbursts over there, right? And you start to think, graduation and getting an education is not only for the student, but it's for the support system. It's for the, the, the people around you that helped you, that, that helped you get there. And there's so many kids in this community that don't have that support system, right? And so uh, I believe in a team concept. I believe in something bigger than myself. That's why I do it. I don't, I don't do it to get anything back. I don't do it for any personal gain. It's because I owe it to this community because this community made me the man I am standing here today.